Ray Leonard after their fight. Come on, spit it out. I know it's a sob. There you go. Right. Quite a while. Yeah, could have fooled me. Just keeping bankers hours or what? Uh, here we go again. What are you doing here so early? <clears throat> I'm keeping computer hours. When this thing works, so do I. You mean you've been sitting here all night waiting for this to be repaired? I would have been. I had the engineer call me when this thing was working again. <clears throat> the APB turn up anything? Not yet. No, what about the patrols? Nothing came in on the vehicle. What have you got there? I have a list of all of the people who own TAN 78 sobs in the area. A long list. Now our job is to cut it down to size. Will, I want you to grab the eyewitness reports for me, right. will you? Sam, I want you to grab the DMV report, see if it matches with anything on our profile. All right, sounds like a plan. We've got a lot of work to do and not a lot of time to do it in. So what else is new? So, one of these people hit Tanya. Question is, which one? Oh, we have an agreement. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, you. Oh, my goodness, she is getting so heavy. Pretty soon I'm not going to be able to lift her up. She grows so fast. Wow, it seems like Tony and Tanya were just bringing her home from the hospital just yesterday. <laughs> seems to really get along with babies well. Jake is a natural, that's for sure. Have you done any more research about your surrogate mother? Tony on the phone. I have to get over to the hospital. An earlier OR ran over, and so Tony's been pushed back. He was very upset. I'm really worried about him. He's driving much too hard. That's why I'm so glad he's got the baby. There's nothing as good for a workaholic as a baby to set your priorities straight. Mm -hmm. Let me see if she's wet. I just changed it before we came over. Well, we can't send her wet over to her Uncle James. Oh, we'll oh, change no. her. <laughs> now, who wants to change her? Yeah. <laughs> Where are all those doting aunts and uncles? <laughs> Never mind, sweetheart. I'll change you. Yes, I will. I'm gonna yes, supervise. <laughs> so this goes pretty sure Ned's the making the model of the car, but he doesn't do the driver as oh, yet. Okay. She's all yours. Uh, and dry as a bone. <laughs> There's been a change of plans. I don't like the sound of that. I'm sorry. But uh, something's come up. I've got to run. Can I take a rain check on the babysitting? I suppose. I'm sorry to hang you up. I'll see you. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to eat that face. <laughs> Bye. Big as my day. Oh, no. I'll babysitter and you can go to the station and see how Frisco's doing. Oh, you don't mind? Oh, I love it. Oh, I great. love it. Oh, any no. excuse to babysitter, I'll take. Give I'm me not sure bottle. about bothering Frisco, though. He's so obsessed with finding Tanya's killer, he's liable to take my head off. Timothy Crouch. Scratch him. He's in his mid-fifties. Oh, maybe he looks young for his age. Not that young. Next. Steve Harrison. Wait. That's not on the list. Who are you? Reporter. Outside. I got nothing to tell you, and that's off the record. Yeah, well, that's not exactly what I heard. The word is downstairs you're wrapping up the hit and run today. The word's wrong. Uh huh. May I quote you on that? You want a quote? I'll give you a quote, hey, buddy. Hey, lighten up. Lighten up. He's okay. Works for a news service, supplies TV and radio. He's after a Pulitzer just like Carlin was. I don't do reporters anymore. Well, you got him to be straight with the facts. Thanks, Will. I'm just doing my job. All right, you can hang around here. But stay out of the way. If you let me do my job, you just may have a story for the afternoon news. Okay. What do I...
do we got? That's all the names that the computer came up with. We're down to two suspects. They live in Port Charles, and they fit the description of our eyewitnesses. You call one, I call the other. Okay. Fingers crossed. Looks like Will's having a little bit more luck. That's right. Suspects at work across town. Let's roll. Sam, you with me. Will grab somebody on the way. Oh, I don't need a backup. Listen, now, these guys know that we got to be close to grabbing them on the tail. So don't be stupid, all right? Also, I want the eyewitnesses brought down here pronto. Why? Because I want to make sure, in case we need them, we have a positive ID. Shouldn't we wait till we have the suspect in custody? I don't want to waste any time. We're nailing him today. I'm gone. Be careful. Yeah. Uh, who's our suspect? Corey Blythe. Let's see what this kid has to say, shall we? Yeah. 